What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux on a laptop. This is the updated version. Today we are going to install the newest version of Kali Linux, which as of now is 2019. Point two and a little disclaimer right at the beginning of this video because apparently it hasn't been clear enough in the previous video. If you do install Kali Linux on your laptop where you have also Windows installed and you will just install it over it, uh, your Windows installation will be gone. So be very careful what you're doing. Only install it on a laptop um, and where the hard drive specifically does not have any data you still need because if you follow this method, everything will be deleted on your current hard drive. If you want to install Kali Linux in dual boot with Windows 10 and uh, Kali Linux, then you need to follow a different tutorial. If you want that tutorial, leave a comment below this video and I'll see if I can provide it for you. So that being said, let's go ahead and install Kali Linux on a laptop. As you can see in the uh, lower right corner here, there's already my um, laptop and it's waiting for the USB drive to be ready. So that's the first thing we are going to do. We are going to go to the kali.org uh, website slash forward slash download and we are going to download the 64-bit version of Kali Linux. Of course, if you have a 32-bit laptop, um, you have to choose the 32-bit version. How you find out if you have 30-bit, 32-bit, uh, or 64-bit? Just leave a comment below, and somebody will surely help you with that. And so, go ahead and download this Kali Linux 64-bit ISO file. And once you downloaded it, we continue with the next step. Okay, now we need to go ahead and write the ISO file on our USB drive. So I already have a 16 gigabyte USB drive uh, plugged into my computer. And I think uh, definitely 8 GB are sufficient for Kali Linux. I'm not sure about 4 GB, but you will definitely find this information on the Kali website. And uh, so make sure you have enough space on the USB drive. And also be aware that everything that is on your USB drive will be deleted when you follow this process. So make sure there is nothing valuable on there before you proceed. All right, we are going to use the Win32 Disk Imager tool to write the image and this tool is actually recommended in the official Kali documentation. You can look that up and you can uh, download it on sourceforge.net slash project slash win32 disk imager. I will also leave all of the links in the description of the video below so you can just go ahead and click on it. Uh, after you downloaded win32 disk imager go ahead and install it with all the default values and once you have done that go ahead and open it. I already have it open here and assuming your Kali Linux download is finished, click on the folder here and go to, yes, go to your downloads folder and then make sure you select in here, not only disk images, but this small dot. And then you can see that uh, the Kali ISO file pops up, click on open here and then basically click on write, but make sure the correct device is selected here. You can check in your Windows Explorer if this drive is the correct letter of your USB drive. Make 100% sure it is because as I said everything will get deleted on this USB drive or whatever other drive is selected here. Once that is done click on write and click on yes. As you can see here writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. Be sure about that. Click on yes and then just wait for the process to finish. It should be really quick. While our image is smoothly writing on to the USB drive, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Every subscription helps me out a lot and also give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. Thank you for that. All right guys, that took about five minutes for me to finish. And one more thing I need to tell you that once you finish to install Kali Linux, your USB drive will be pretty much um, unusable because you can see that the USB drive is now split up in two different partitions and uh, you will have problems using it for whatever you want to do with it afterwards. So I'll leave a link to an article that I've written in the description below where you can easily go ahead and fix this with a tool called Rufus. It's really, really easy and will be done within one minute. 
So make sure if you have problems with this to check this out to get it fixed again and make your USB drive usable again. That's just a side note because I got this question a lot in the previous video. Once we are done with that, remove the USB drive from your computer and don't worry about the black screen, it's just a switch to the webcam and plug it into your laptop where you want to install Kali Linux on. Then switch on the computer and press the button uh, that brings you into the boot menu while booting up. And to find that out which button that is, uh, you would need to go ahead and Google uh, your laptop model and boot menu. So in my case, I have a ThinkPad X220 and I would Google ThinkPad X220 boot menu and then you would uh, need to look up which button you need to press uh, to enter the boot menu and mostly it's F12 or F8 or something like that. So you can see here that I already have Kali and Parrot installed but I'm gonna install Kali Linux again. So we choose the USB HDD, in my case it's a SanDisk Ultra USB drive. So make sure you select your USB drive here and hit enter to bring up the Kali installation menu. Okay, now we cannot see, now it should be fine. And what we want is we want to start the installer. Takes a couple of seconds then. And there we go. I'm sorry for the shitty uh, video quality, but this is the best way I could come up with to record this installation routine directly on the laptop. So it should be sufficient to guide you through. Uh, obviously, you need to choose a language. In my case, I just leave it on English and apparently my mouse is not working here. So I use tab to navigate and you click continue. Then you can select or don't select a location. It's up to you. Click on continue. Then you want to configure a keyboard and this is the keyboard layout. So in my case, I take a German keyboard and I'm gonna click on continue. Then it's detecting uh, and mounting CD-ROM drives. That's pretty unnecessary for what we are doing because we install it from USB. So it's actually loading the installer components, not from CD, but from the USB drive. It does not matter. Just give this a couple of seconds to finish. Now you have the chance to actually uh, make a connection with your Wi-Fi if you choose the appropriate adapter here and in this case it would be WLAN 0 for me and uh, if you want to update the installation while it's installing you definitely should choose this and connect to your Wi-Fi. I will not do this right now because I don't need to update it for this purpose so I'm gonna simply select ETH 0 but as I said, for most cases, uh, WLAN 0 is fine. I just don't want to reveal my surrounding uh, Wi-Fi networks here from my neighbors. So I'm going to do this for this demonstration. Click on next and now it will find that there is no link available on um, ETH 0 because I don't have a network cable plugged in there. So it cannot actually configure the network. In your case, it will do that and it might ask you if you want to install updates um, while the installer is running or something like this and just select yes in that case. Let's wait a couple of seconds. Obviously the configuration of my network here failed, but as I said, I don't need it. I click on continue and then I just select do not configure the network at this time and continue. All right, then you should be here and on the same page as me again after you set up your Wi-Fi connection and then you can give your Kali Linux laptop a host name. So this is the computer name. I just leave it on Kali. You can put there whatever you want. Click on next, then choose a strong uh, root password, stronger than mine, definitely. Uh, what I use for this demonstration and then click on continue to continue then you can configure the clock this might happen automatically if you're already connected to a wi-fi i'll just leave it on the default value here you can just go ahead and choose your time zone there click on next and now we come to the fun part which is the hard drive configuration there we go so we want to choose for this demonstration and as I said be careful again once you do this 
everything that is on your hard drive, your Windows 10, whatever is there will be deleted. If you want to install uh, Kali Linux as a dual boot, you need to look up a different tutorial. Final warning, everything gets deleted. We choose guided use entire disk for this purpose. This will be a pure Kali Linux laptop. There will be no other operating system on there. And then you can see that my hard drive already shows up. I have 128 gigabyte Samsung SSD in there. That is fine. Let's click on uh, next continue. And then we want all files in one partition, which is recommended for new users and that's fine. Click on continue. Then we will get a final overview of that all. And then we click on continue again and write changes to disk. Yes. Last time you have the chance uh, to select no in case there are still files on your laptop that you need. Otherwise everything is destroyed. Click on continue and then wait for the installer to finish. Now you can see it's installing the system and we'll simply wait for that to be done. All right, guys, we are almost done with the installation. Now, if you already connected to the Wi-Fi or to your network, you can choose yes to this question. I did not, and uh, so I will choose no, but you definitely should choose yes if you are connected to a network. So Kali Linux will uh, update or install newer versions of uh, the software while it's uh, finishing up. So I don't do that now. Let's click on no. And if you choose yes, it might start to download a few packages or update them. Uh, let's see what it's doing now. Configuring the package manager. It's now configuring group and uh, the installation is already complete. Now we go to select Sorry for my hands in the screen all the time, but it's really the only way I can do it right now. Click on continue and it's removing some not necessary packages anymore or not needed packages. Just let that finish up. And uh, the installation is now finished and the system is just rebooting. So you can go ahead and remove the USB drive now. The reboot actually happened automatically with any interaction from my side. That's why I didn't record it. I missed that point. But now Kali Linux should boot up if, but only if, we followed every step correctly and everything went well. So I never had any problem uh, with a failed Kali installation. I don't know why people always seem to fail this pretty straightforward process. And that's basically why I created this video, just to reassure that it's actually pretty easy and straightforward. So then log in with your username or basically with the root username because we did not create any other and then with the password that you have chosen in the installation routine and if that will be successful we will find it out in a second and there we go a freshly installed Kali Linux and a very blurry one at this moment let's check it up open the console and my touchpad works too and again, I'm very sorry with the sharpness of this video, but it should get the point across pretty well. And this concludes this video on how to install Kali Linux on a laptop in 2019. And if you want, or if you don't know where to go from here, I have a pretty awesome article up, a pretty long article on how to get started in cybersecurity, which I will link in the description below and another really really useful article if you just start out with Kali Linux and that is the top things to do after installing Kali Linux in 2019 and I really recommend you to pull up this article and go from here because it will secure your system and will tell you the basic or the essential steps that you need to do on a fresh Kali Linux installation. So best of luck and if you liked the video please subscribe to the channel as I said previously it helps me out tremendously and I hope to see you next See you back in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.